<coughs> hey guys, this is DCAPK9445 and welcome to another video on my iPad. And today I'm going to be showing you how to get AirShell to record your screen. And I and you guys are wondering, didn't AirShell get revoked? Um, didn't doesn't AirShell doesn't work anymore? Um, well, the second answer is yes, the AirShell doesn't work anymore. But actually, I messed up. I messed up. The second question, the first question too is that yes, it got fixed, and no, it's not revoked now. And the second question is the second an the second question the second answer to, to the question is no, it's not no, it is working now. It used to not work, but it's not working. So let's get straight into the video. So go on Google or Safari, whichever whichever you want to prefer. I just want to go on Safari. And then, um, uh, let me just start the steps over again. And then you'll see the Safari or Google Suite. Type up I-E-M-U-L-A-T-O-R-S. This will be in the description below, guys. And then go search. <laughs> and then you'll see this screen, guys. If you guys don't see this screen, then try the steps over again. Um, so, once you guys see this screen, click Apps next to the Home. And then... You'll see like a jailbreak sign. Well, we're not jailbreaking today. We're trying to get your shell. So, it's a, a iOS 9 screen recorder. Don't worry about that, guys. It's an iOS 10 recorder too. So, if you guys get, if you guys get tricked on that, if you guys get tricked on that, then just watch my video and just see it by yourself. Because I am the, I am going to prove it that I'm on iOS 10, not iOS 9. So, yeah. What... What you want to do is um, click I Air Shell, and then you will see this screen. Once you do, once you see this screen, you just gotta wait for a couple of minutes until it says download page. Once, if you if you guys don't see download page, then keep on scroll, then keep on scrolling down until you see download page right there. So click on download page, and then it will direct you to this, to this, and then it will say, and then you will see a big iPhone or an iPad. With a with a um air shell on it. So what you want to do is scroll down until you see air shell again, and then you guys want to click air shell again, and then it'll direct you to this screen again. But it won't say download page. It will say it won't say download page. It will say install. So once you so keep on scrolling until you see install, and then you, what you want to do is scroll. Scroll up like a few times, and then you will see air shell. I mean, install instantly. Uh, so we just gotta wait for a couple of minutes, and then you'll see install instantly. If oh my god, what am I doing, guys? Um, it will work, but it will take a few time. So we just gotta wait for a couple of minutes. Until it will say, "Yep." Until it will say "Install," guys. See, I told you. So then it will say "Install AirShell again." Just click on that. It will say this page. It will. You will see this page, and then wait for two seconds to get this box in, and then it will say "Public dot blah blah blah." blah I can't even read. Boxcloud.com would like to install AirShell. Click install. It won't revoke your iPad or anything. And if you guys, and if you guys restart your iPad, then it won't get revoked, guys. It won't get revoked. I'm serious. So once you do that, you'll see this. You'll see AirShot downloaded right there in your face, in front of your face. So, but don't click on AirShot to record yet, guys. We still need to do two more steps, and which is trusting the app and this is how you trust the app so if you guys if you guys um didn't know how to trust the app this is how you can do it so if you guys click the air shell without trusting the app it will say untrusted development so what you want to do is set go to settings go to general go to profile manage profile, profile and device management and then you'll see enterprise app there will be a box on the enterprise app click on that and then it will say a uh, app or Something like that, and I see AirShell right there, and it will say trust app 
where you can see delete app, it will say trust app, and then once you trust app, it will say delete app. Don't delete the app, guys. And then by AirShot, the right corner, the right side, it will say verify. If you guys, guys, it will say verified if you guys trust it. If you guys don't see it, then I think you guys did something wrong. So restart the steps do it alone. So yeah, that's how you get AirShot, guys. Um, and then now I'm gonna prove it if I'm on iOS 10 or 9. So now let's see. I am on iOS 10, of course. So I have an update for software, and it says iOS 10.21. That that makes sense because I I'm on iOS 10. So guys, that's how you get AirShout on iOS 10 without getting revoked if you guys restart your iPad or anything. So that's how you get AirShout. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you all later. Peace out.